Many of you have heard about New York Giants star defensive tackle Dexter Lawrence, but how much do you know? From the surface, he's a great pass rushing interior defender, right? They're becoming more and more popular as the NFL has evolved and becoming a lot stronger and faster at just about every position. I mean, just look at the other great pass rushers from the interior. Chris Jones, who we surely know is a Hall of Famer, guys like Quinton Williams and Derek Brown too. And how could we forget about recently retired legend Aaron Donald? That's some great company to be around. But what if I told you his production has been better than all of these guys, both as a pass rusher and run defender. But there is a small detail that I'm forgetting to mention. He's doing all of this from the nose tackle position, and he's as much as 60 pounds heavier. Dexter Lawrence, or Sexy Dexy as he calls himself. Sexy Dexy. Clemson. was a five-star recruit out of Wake Forest, North Carolina, where he was the number two recruit in the entire nation right behind Rashawn Gary and over some other familiar faces in the NFL. An absolute monster in high school as he started out his career as a 280-pound freshman and worked his way up to a whopping 330 pounds by his senior year. Considering his massive size at just the high school level, you could imagine the havoc he wreaked by just looking at his stats. As a defensive tackle, he was putting edge rusher type numbers, both at the sack and tackle for loss categories. In fact, the kid was such a mismatch, they even put him at the edge position at 300 pounds and just told opposing teams, what are you going to do about it? This is the end. Hold your breath and count. Working his way up to the collegiate level, Dex was still a monster amongst men. He came out of those Clemson gates flying as his most productive season was as a true freshman. The seven sacks he accumulated is a freshman record previously held by William Perry, aka The Fridge, Ricky Sapp, and Shaq Lawson doing all of this at 330 pounds. His freshman season was so impressive in fact, he was awarded ACC Defensive Rookie of the Year. Another fun fact, Dexter Lawrence was the first defensive tackle to ever receive that award and was only up until fellow Clemson alum Brian Breesey won the award in 2022. Lawrence played three seasons with the Tigers and in 2019 declared for the NFL Draft. Prior to the draft, the New York Giants traded away star wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. to the Cleveland Browns for a Hall of Picks and players, Jabril Peppers! which included the 17th overall pick, which was used to draft Dexter Lawrence. Along with him, the Giants drafted Daniel Jones with the 6th overall pick and DeAndre Baker with the 30th overall pick. Talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly, am I right? Dex had a normal NFL rookie training camp. In Giants defensive coordinator Jane Betcher's 3-4 scheme, three down linemen were used a decent amount of the time. With BJ Hill and Dexter Lawrence primarily playing the B-gap 3-tech positions, or traditional defensive tackle. For the most part, he did just fine there. He's at least 35 to 40 pounds heavier than your usual three tech, but he still held his own as standout defensive tackle Dalvin Tomlinson was the main man in the middle playing nose tackle. Dexter Lawrence finished his rookie season playing a total of 701 snaps, which ranks third most in his career. In those 701 snaps, he totaled 38 tackles, three tackles for loss, nine quarterback hits, one forced fumble, and two and a half sacks. With his first sack coming against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, in which Daniel Jones had his first career start and win. The next two seasons were about the same, but gradually getting better as his stats saw improvements in just about every category. Even as a 340 pound three tech, he still saw a decent amount of time on the field and was a very dependable piece in stopping the run. Throughout the first three years of his career, there was a lot of talk of Dexter Lawrence possibly being held back by the defensive scheme and positioning. 2020 and 2021 were under defensive coordinator Patrick Graham, but he was still lining up at the three tech, which as we know is not his natural position, but was doing decent at where he was at. Even after nose tackle Dalvin Thomason departed to Minnesota, the Giants brought in Austin Johnson from the Titans to play nose, not giving the reins to Dexter. Everyone knew he could be better as a nose tackle, but in 2022 came a shock around the NFL world 
especially opposing your offensive linemen. With yet another coaching regime, the Giants hired their third head coach and third defensive coordinator since Dex has been a Giant. This time, in comes highly respected defensive mastermind Don Wink Martindale. Wink had been with the Baltimore Ravens for 10 years at that point and their defensive coordinator for four seasons. Wink has always been known as an aggressive blitzer that prides himself in not letting the quarterback breathe in the pocket. Oh no, no. <laughs> Bringing him in was a godsend for Dexter Lawrence's career because he did something that the previous two coordinators did not do, and that's move him to his natural position. Hearing this news brought a lot of relief to the fan base as they all knew that now Dexter Lawrence would be getting a legitimate shot to play to his full potential at the nose tackle position. But nobody could have seen this meteoric rise he would take. As the 2022 season went on, the Giants saw an instant improvement in success as they got off to a hot 6-1 start, mostly thanks to the defense that were able to keep the opposing team's points to a minimal with the offense struggling to stay on the field. And the leader of that defense? Dexter Lawrence, who time and time again put on an absolute show, destroying everyone in his path from the inside. Lining up at nose allowed Dexter Lawrence to use his extraordinary ability to rush the passer at the size he is against interior offensive linemen who have not encountered someone of his stature to get behind the line of scrimmage that fast. The mix of size, strength, athletic ability, and technique was just too much for centers to handle. As soon as the snap was made, Dex was already two steps into his rush, either getting around you or putting all 342 pounds of what are you going to do about it in your chest. And sometimes, if you don't get out the way, he'll just take you and your quarterback down at the same time. I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting cooked. Dex's pass rushing numbers were absolutely off the charts at his position, as he was grading out to be not just one of the best interior pass rushers, but one of the best pass rushers in the entire league. Mind you, this man is almost 100 pounds heavier than your average edge rusher or full-time pass rusher, as some come around about 250 pounds or so. Looking at his numbers and comparing them to the rest of the league almost seemed like somebody in the stat department messed up. He finished the 2022 season with a career high in snaps with a whopping total of 864. That included 68 tackles, 7 tackles for loss, 28 quarterback hits, 36 pressures, and 7.5 and sacks. Now, PFF does count pressures differently than other stat departments do, like other sites, like, like Pro Football Reference. I believe they also include sacks in the pressure, so you might see other sources say 43, 43 pressures, and I think they're including the sacks. But anyway, these types of numbers are something you'd expect from an edge rusher or a top-tier pass rushing 3-tech. But a nose tackle? Doing all of this from the 0 or 1 technique? Look, according to PFF, in 2022, Dexter Lawrence posted up a 92.4 pass rush grade, which ranked second in the NFL among all defenders, number one being Miles Garrett and Micah Parsons trailing at number three. Yes, even higher than Aaron Donald and Chris Jones. Interesting fact, he had 40 pressures when lining up at the 40 or zero tech. I believe this also includes the playoffs. The next highest, 13. How about just cutting it down to the zero tech? just head up straight on the center 29 with the next highest being two players on the same team that doesn't even come close one of them his clemson teammate and was drafted five spots ahead of him in 2019 his outstanding production carried over into the playoffs where he acquainted himself with kirk cousins in the backfield throughout the entire game at the end of the game down to the line vikings looking for a come from behind victory Dexter Lawrence made the game ceiling play that would force the Giants to move on to the divisional round. The rise of Dexter Lawrence was a huge part of what the Giants were able to do in 2022 to get them to win games, especially the closer ones which really emphasized the importance of the trenches. In 2023, he saw even more success. Although the Giants were not the same team in 2022, especially on the defensive side of the ball, that did not stop Dex from doing Dex things. On almost 80 less snaps than the year prior, he still posted up 53 tackles, 7 tackles for loss, 21 quarterback hits, 25 pressures, and 4.5 sacks. 
topping his own pass rush record last year by 0.2 and putting his run stopping grade all the way up to 89.5 as it was in the low 80s in 2022. Being absolutely dependable in both the run game and the passing game, it became obvious to never let that man off the field. However, this happened a lot of the time in 23, as when he was not on the field, opposing rushing offenses ran all over the G-men. This year, he had the third highest pass rush grade and the third highest rushing grade of all defenders and was the number one defensive interior player, ranking 8th overall in PFF's top 50 players of 2023. His play at Zero Tech, which is at the true nose tackle position, came in at a staggering 94.7, and the next players are about 12 points behind that. In fact, he was awarded by PFF as the best Zero Tech and the best One Tech player in the NFL, and was the honorable mention at 2 and 2i. I know I'm using a lot of PFF, which a lot of people don't like, and I understand, but PFF absolutely gets a lot of things right when it comes to the offensive and defensive lineman stats, as they keep stats that a lot of these other sites do not track in the trenches. But I'm tired of talking about numbers. Just look at him play. I mean, you've probably been so mesmerized by what you've been seeing in the past couple of minutes, you haven't heard a word I've said. Well, if you haven't been paying attention up to this point, if you can get anything out of this video, it would be this. Dexter Lawrence is a constant nuisance at the line of scrimmage on a down-to-down -down basis for every quarterback he's up against. Having to worry about the possibility of being sacked or knocked down by a 340-pound man in the matter of seconds at any given snap is scary enough. Lawrence puts fear of an elite pass rusher in opposing teams' eyes that no interior defensive lineman should do. As Brett Coleman beautifully put it, it's like someone Freaky Friday John Randall into Vince Wilfork's body. And you just have to look at what Dexter Lawrence does on the field. Just watch him play. The show of size, the show of strength, speed, and, and technique on top of that. This is something he does on an absolute down-to-down -down basis. I'm not saying that as an exaggeration. I'm not saying that as a hyperbole. I'm talking about from the first quarter to the fourth quarter. He is in a center's face the entire game. Dexter Lawrence in real time is transcending the way we look at the nose tackle position and creating something we've never seen before at that alignment. The same way we watched Aaron Donald do what he did at defensive tackle is exactly what we're seeing from Dexter Lawrence at the nose. Lawrence recently signed a major contract extension with the Giants and won't be going anywhere anytime soon. We are truly witnessing a potential Hall of Fame career before our very eyes and making the nose tackle position more attractive to look at. One could say, he's bringing sexy back.